This next parody case I'm going to show you is when you get one edge like this, and then the other edge is flipped around, so it looks kind of like this zigzag design kind of funkiness. Because the rest of the cube should be soft. Now, if you get this, well, it's one of the most uncommon parody cases. Some people say they get it a lot. Some people say they don't even get it at all. But I never get it. This is probably the first time I've gotten it. So if you have this parody case, whip out a notepad and pencil, and just write down this algorithm. I'm not used to it, so i got it written down, too. But here it is. Double right to B2 back twice. U2. L, double L. U2. And double R inverted. U2. R, double R. U2. F2. Double R. F2. Double left inverted. B2. And double R2. And what that'll do is it'll flip it back around so you can solve it just like a 3x3. Three three. That should be all the parity cases. There's only two for the 5x5, five five, but they are a pain to solve. So, if you happen to have, like, for instance, um, there's this edge and this edge, and they're, like, jumbled. Like, there's this one here and this one here, and they're just mixed up. There's, like, a combination of more than one parity case. What you just do is you use that first algorithm I gave you to swap these two, and you just want to use your logic and position them in the correct layer so that way you can use it to swap them and get another parity case that you can solve. So right now, if you don't know how to solve a 3x3, well, I suggest looking up 3x3 Rubik's Cube solution and learning how to solve it. But if you do, you can go ahead and solve for a 3x3, and you will be very proud of yourself. Because the finished project, excuse me, the finished, the project, finished solution, oh my god, I'm having a word scramble today. Oh, what should it look like this? Wow, are you ready for this? You ready for this magic? You ready? You ready? Are you ready for this? Bam! Solved. If you know how to solve a 3x3, three three, you are amazing. Because I have just taught you how, excuse my camera bump there, to solve a 5x5. Five five. I hope you enjoyed my clip, so subscribe. All you gotta do is click on the button, you know, that button, or that button, or is it on that side? Whichever way it is. Because I don't know if my computer will flip around. But, anyways, you guys go have a nice day, and go teach your friends how to solve a 5 by 5 ba -ba -ba. Oh, and you can also check out other sites, how to solve this, and this. So why don't you just go have fun, and I uh, will see you guys later.